is Håkan from AUX Hooks and today I will tie a mayfly nymph. We will be tying a big mayfly nymph but you can use the same technique to imitate smaller uh, species of mayflies as well. Uh, this is supposed to imitate our biggest species here, Ephemera vulgata and Ephemera, Ephemera danica. So I'm using a big hook. I'm using the Arix FW530, size 8. Set the thread. And start by tying in the tail. The tail is actually part of the insect, the nymph's breathing. So they have quite big, heavy breathers. Uh, so we imitate this tail by using brown ostrich hulls. I'm using three tips. Tie them in. The rib is flexifloss or uniflex in a brown color, which we tie in by the tail as well. And now for the abdomen, I'm using a light brown tan dubbing with some sparkle in it. And we start to build up the abdomen. And we try to taper the body so it gets thicker towards the thorax of the fly. There we go. And then we wind the ribbing to get the segmentation of the abdomen. And secure. Now for the wing case, which I use uh, a golden pheasant tail, which is have a nice coloration and marking. So we cut off a big section and tie it in on top of the hook shank, just in front of the abdomen. And then we take some more dubbing to build up the thorax on the fly. And then we tie in a hackle. This is the golden olive partridge feather. You can use brown as well, but I use the golden olive. Tie it in by the tip. Because then you can hold the stem. It's easier to, to wind this small hackle. And I'm making one or two wraps and tie it in. And cut off the waist. And then I try to separate the fibers on top of the, the shank. And we pull the wing case and secure it. And all that's left is just making a head and a whip finish. So by changing the color uh, of the body, the hackle and the size of the hook, you can use this technique to make close to every mayfly nymphs.